Well, hello there, Pisces. How are you? It is so good to see you again. I'm Mary Sue, and I'm so grateful that you're here. Well, today we are doing your mid-July um, tarot reading. This is good from now until mid-August. We'll take a look at the overall energy with the oracle cards, and then we'll move to the tarot for more details. And if you're enjoying the content that I create or resonating with the message, I'd really appreciate it if you would consider liking, commenting, or subscribing. I really do appreciate all of your support. Okay, so let's see what we have for you over the next four or five weeks. Butterfly spirit, transformation is beautiful. Okay, there's your energy, your Scorpio energy and infinite abundance, abundance of pouring into your life. Oh my goodness. Pisces had this card too. Um, just an energy of a kind of transforming, you know, we're going to go see, you know, what this transformation is. But I feel as if it's something within yourself. You see how it's the number 11, right? A master number. And the number one is all about ourself. You know, taking a look at how we want to transform ourselves helps us to bring the abundance into our life that we are seeking. You know, and abundance really is. It's about love, a sense of, you know, uh, having peace and a sense of fulfillment in our work. It's not just about, you know, the money, the tangible things. It does include that, but it's also about joy and happiness, feeling loved and appreciated also in our life. So um, let's take a look at what we have here. Yeah, we have flexible. You're very close to your goal. And then the fates. There's something that you maybe have been wanting for some time. Now, this is interesting that the energy that I'm getting, you could have been trying, you know, the transformation. I think what you're you're very close to to completing a goal. OK, you're com close to completing a goal, but you may have been focusing on what uh, perhaps other people could do or how they could help you to achieve your goal. There's almost an energy of understanding. If you want this goal, you have everything you need within yourself in order to, to accomplish this. Like you don't have to seek out necessarily the help of other people. It's understanding you have the power within yourself in order to bring this to completion. Wow. Oh my goodness. This is beautiful. Yeah. You have the Ten of Swords and then the Knight of Wands. You know, an energy of feeling like I have to, I have to close out something. And, you know, I'm actually going to just clarify. What are you closing out? Yeah. And then we have <laughs> the, the devil is popping out. They're showing me the devil. So I'm going to actually take that over there. I think you're closing out something that is holding you back. Oh my goodness, it's such a lovely energy that is here. Let's see what we have. Because it's an energy, I don't feel like something something that is important to you is coming to an end, Scorpio, okay? It's not that type of an energy. You may have had a difficult ending in the past. I'm not saying you haven't had an ending, okay? But this is almost about changing your your own thinking about the ending. And that is so, yeah, you're, you're bringing it into, okay, so the, <laughs> the devil energy, Capricorn energy, is really about the things that we are attached to, you know? We can get over-focused, okay, on certain things in our life. And that could be tangible things, that could be a mindset, it could be energy that you had. It's kind of like hyper-focusing on something. Like really being attached to perhaps a certain outcome or perhaps a certain expectation of, and it's really this external expectation that I think you have here. It's about bringing that into balance. You know, life is all about balance and understanding the role that you play in this situation and how your your role is really important into achieving your goal. Really interesting because you've been toying, you've been going back and forth. If you have something, a, a situation in your life where you feel like 
somebody or something is holding you back okay we we all have that <laughs> in some one sector of our lives right it's about understanding you could have been focused on what somebody else isn't doing for you or how their energy is detracting you right and then it's kind of like bringing that into balance understanding okay wait a minute maybe somebody is draining your energy but how are you bringing that into balance? What are you doing to balancing that out? And I think that is the end of your mindset, right? You're ending that mindset. Ending the mindset of thinking somebody else is, you know, holding me back, keeping me in the cocoon. I can't get out of this cocoon. It's understanding the butterfly has the power to break the cocoon. No, nobody comes along and opens the cocoon for the butterfly. If somebody opened the cocoon for the butterfly, the butterfly actually wouldn't be strong enough to fly away because it has to have the strength, okay? It uses, it actually like pumps, uh, you know, energy into its wings when it's trying to crack out of the cocoon. That is what helps it to also get the strength. You know, that is a very difficult thing for a butterfly to come out of a cocoon or think of a, a bird, you know, hatching from an egg. It takes a lot of energy for that, you know, that animal, that creature to be able to do that. It's, it's almost as if you maybe have been attached to thinking somebody should be opening the cocoon for you or cracking the egg open for you, right? And it's kind of like, no, because this is actually helping you to have the strength to be able to bring in exactly what it is that you want. Wow, that is really powerful energy. Okay, let's go to your present energy. Yeah, a time to give rather than take. You're understanding that this difficulty, okay, is actually a blessing. It's literally, six of pentacles is a blessing. Things coming into balance for you. Because you're seeing this in a different perspective. Something that you thought was hindering you from gaining what it is that you want. You're understanding, oh my goodness, this is helping me to, it's kind of like, you know, when you lift weights, <laughs> the weights are, you know, lifting weights is not easy, but it makes you stronger. And I feel as if you have literally gone through some type of a situation or, <coughs> excuse me, or perhaps in a relationship where, yeah, where you have had to kind of break out of a mindset, break out of some way, having the courage having the courage to see this in a different way, to move forward in a different way, in a stronger way, in a more courageous way. Yeah, because you've been holding yourself back, concerned that, you know, once again, I'm not getting the help, I'm not getting the support, I'm not getting the love, I'm not getting the recognition, I'm not getting what it is that I need. So I'm holding back I'm, I'm not trying to break out of my cocoon by myself. I'm waiting for somebody else. But now here you're coming in with this cup of love for yourself. Understanding, wait a minute. <laughs> Why am I waiting for somebody to do it for me? What I really have to do is go do it for myself. Love myself. That's part of it. Loving yourself enough to... Uh, to do this transformation, to go the last mile. This is really about the last mile. <laughs> it really is. Oh my goodness. And I can so relate. You know, I was talking to my son the other day and we were talking about how the last part of a project, he's trying to launch something. And he was talking about how the last part of this project is just the hardest. It's hard for him to stay focused and get it done, right? It's kind of like <laughs> he's feeling very much that, oh my goodness, am I ever going to get this done? Want, you know, he was even talking about, should I hire somebody to finish it? You know, it's about loving yourself enough to say, you know what? I'm putting my time and energy into this. This is important to me. Not worrying about if it's important to anybody else. It's about, wait a minute, this is important to me. Yeah, really a beautiful energy that, you know, I think we can, we all can relate to this at different points of our life. Okay, so let's take a look at your area of resistance, your obstacle. Yeah, you want people to celebrate. You want people to come together and help you with this. 
it really is about understanding and you know all the water signs you know you're the last of the three water signs all of the water signs have had this energy of understanding that the, it, it's about your independence in doing this and this isn't about you you know getting mad at people and walking away or saying oh forget it i'm not talking to those people anymore anything like that it really is about just understanding this is an opportunity for you to gain this extra insight wisdom strength in this situation that is going to bring you this abundance wow beautiful all right don't let your past hold you back and go the distance yeah you're you're like it is very much like you're getting ready to hatch right you're getting ready to hatch and you could have been thinking i, I need help i need help with the hatching process <laughs> i need help i want help with the hatching process but knowing no you have everything you need scorpio and it really is helping you to transform it's i feel like it's giving you strength and courage in order to be more bold in other areas of your life or other situations right because when we have to rely on ourselves and we get ourselves through a situation it gives us a greater sense of pride and confidence and strength in order to go and do other things that we want to do being able to say you know when we're in that last mile just think about all the other times that you have accomplished things and understanding you have the strength and the courage to do this to go this yeah, you intuitively know this is just so, it's in your heart. Are you so focused? This is something near and dear to your heart, right? But are you so focused that other people are not, it, it, it's like so focusing on how other people are seeing what it is that you're trying to bring in your goal, right? The goal that you're trying to bring in. Are you so focused on how other people may either in the future, okay, look at what it is that you're bringing in, right? Or, or putting out there, creating. Or is it that you're, you're kind of upset because people aren't celebrating as much as you want them to, you know? It's understanding. You are driving the energy of the celebration. That's, that is it. Because you're a little bit concentrating on thinking that there's not enough celebration. <laughs> you're the one that has to put on the party hat. It's a, you know, that transforms the energy in this whole situation. Oh my goodness. You know, that's kind of like when you're sitting in a room, like in a, a meeting or something, and the energy of the room is a certain amount, you know, a certain way. And then a new person walks in and the energy of the room totally changes depending on the energy of the person that comes into the room. If they're in a very good mood and very jovial and cheerful and everything, everybody's a lot more excited. If they walk into the room and their their energy is lower, it just brings down the whole room, right? The whole room could have been laughing and then somebody walks in and they're in a bad mood or whatever, and it brings down the whole energy. This is about, I feel like you may have been concentrating on the energy of other people around you, but it's really a reflection of the energy that you have at this time. It's about as soon as you put on your party hat, Scorpio, I guarantee everybody else is gonna put their party hat on too. That's exactly this energy. Understanding that you can transform the energy around this situation, whether it's a relationship or a work situation or whatever. It, you put on your party hat and everybody else starts partying. Wow. You know, I can, I can say I can relate to that. Like when I was a teacher, you know, like if I knew I was, especially like in math, you know, I, I loved math, but I had students. There's students that sometimes, you know, resist learning math. <laughs> and I knew if I could come in with some kind of, I'm going to, because I taught fourth grade, right? Some type of a gimmick, right? 
Um, you know, kids always love playing with things, you know, or having, you know, uh, food involved or, you know, humor involved. If I could get into, get, if I could bring that in when I was getting ready to teach, especially a difficult concept, something that was new that I knew some kids would probably shut down if I just came at it from a teacher point of view, right? It's understanding that <laughs> you can be the fun teacher, right? It's about you coming in with that high energy. Oh my goodness, look at what we are doing here, right? And when you bring in that energy, you are changing the whole vibration. If you're in like a workspace where everybody's low energy, just try it. Try for a couple of days. Don't, you know, sometimes the first day doesn't work. <laughs> try for a couple of days. Try for a week. Just you being the one that has the positive energy and see how things change. See how you can celebrate in this situation. Bring as much of your party, <laughs> party energy to it. Because look at what your um, advice is. Happy, happy, nothing is yet set in stone. See, you feel as if something is set in stone the energy of something is set in stone no it's not it's not yet set in stone look at you have the empress and you have the happy happy you know the empress is about building things right building relationships building businesses being extremely creative extremely intuitive mother energy because you see she's pregnant there it's about understanding when you bring the happy to the situation <laughs> i'm telling you the whole situation changes in other words, I feel like you're a key component to this. Understand you're a leader in this uh, situation. That when you put on your party hat, everybody wants to party. Yeah. And then I think, you know, there is this energy where you're, there's a disappointment. Pisces had the same thing about being, seeing the good in the disappointment. It, it, it brings you into this beautiful balance. And King of Pentacles, once again, is, you know, about material success so if you have a business and it's not doing very well right and you're kind of focusing on the lack of energy lack of prosperity in a certain situation is about put on your party hat <laughs> put on your party hat and just be like put the love back into this bring your high vibration to this and i know some of you may say well yeah but you know it's hard to bring high vibration when you know you walk into a room that has low energy and you're the one with the party hat it's really hard but you are being called this is helping you to build a muscle okay for on down the path Something that will, I think it's helping you to stand out from the crowd. If nothing else, this is helping you to stand out. You see, the number one, right? <laughs> that you're the number one party person. And when I say party, it's really about the high vibration. Bringing your high vibration, bringing your love to this situation. Shining your light brightly and not allowing, you know, the 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 low energy people the energy vampires uh, to to sabotage it you know just saying okay you know no everybody's everybody's partying <laughs> all right when was the last time i danced freely this is such a good card for this okay dance because it will shift you into a beautiful state because it will get you out of your head and into your body and heart. Because fear lives in the head along with anxiety, guilt, control, uh, frustration, and impatience. In just a few minutes of dancing, you will make the shift. You will feel a change of joy and confidence take over. And you will feel a soul reminder. Uh, a soul reminder to live and lead from your heart. And that's exactly what it is. I feel like you've been living in your head. You know, look at all the swords. That's your head, right? Living in your head. This whole thing is helping you to get back into your heart. You see, the heart chakra is being highlighted there. Understanding that you have the ability to transform the energy of this from low, low vibration to just infinite abundance just by putting on your party hat. <laughs> All right, Scorpio, I'm going to leave it there. I do do personal readings, so if you're interested, the link is in the description box below. I'd really be honored to do a reading for you. And I look forward to seeing you soon. I wish you much love and light. Bye for now.